Yo, what is up guys? Pretty guys video here today. We got the Tampa Bay Buccaneers versus the LA Rams and man oh man I got a really good game for you guys here and also before I say anything else I really appreciate if you guys are new to the channel go ahead and subscribe and if you guys are watching it If you guys already subscribed means a lot to me if you guys will leave a like but without further ado Let's get right into it now. I got to be honest with you guys This video was supposed to be about Jared Goff moving to the Detroit Lions However, it was just too much of a good game for me to just make a topic video and again I don't really want to upload continuous topic videos, but right here We hit Cooper Cup for a really good game almost getting the touchdown, but yes, man. Oh, man Ram fans Detroit Lion fans. How do you guys feel about this trade? Did you guys think it went your way or do you guys think that your team did a bad decision now? my personal decision to be honest I didn't really like Matthew Stafford that much to give up a few first round picks, but then again, it goes a long way from just picks, right? It can go from cap space. How much cap space did you guys have? Was there enough money to invest around the team? Did it free up a lot of money? I don't know. I don't really follow those teams like that, but if you guys do know, let me know in the comment section exactly what went on with that trade. Now. Jerry Goff going to the Detroit Lions, is that even a good thing for him? Is that something he's going to improve on? I just don't know because I feel like the Detroit Lions are kind of lost in a sauce. But, hey, I'm not going to get too much into that. That's just how I feel. It's not like my Dolphins are any better, of course, right? But, hey, it is what it is right here. My opponent throws it up and gets intercepted. So, just like that, we take the ball. We have the lead. We got to go positive mindset, of course. And, to be honest, the Rams got a squad. I mean, to, to be honest, they got who? Cooper Cup. Look at that dot by Jerry Goff. They got Cooper Cup, Robert Woods, Akers. Who else do they got? Okay, so Goff is gone. Stafford, we'll see what he does this year. The NFL draft is coming up as well. And look at that. Levante David making the interception. And I can argue that Levante David is the best linebacker right now. Overall, he's able to cover. He's able to zone. He's able to blitz he's pretty much an all-around linebacker that you would like kind of like a Derrick Brooks and if you guys do know who I'm referring to Derrick Brooks was a Hall of Fame linebacker for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers Mike Evans making a great catch right there but yeah so honestly shout out to my opponent as well because this is by far one of the whoo nail biters in this game man. I'm not gonna spoil it you guys should stay tuned it's really crazy man this is unbelievable so this is the thing I love about football is that it never runs out it's over and over every year it's a new season and it's just something i enjoy doing and right there the game right just like that my opponent ties up the game and this man right here jerry golf all i gotta say is see him matthew stafford they're humble and i don't really feel like both of these quarterbacks are like loud talkers on the social media like they're they're chill you go to their instagrams you go to their social media pages they're not really like that cockiness or anything they're just chill and that's one thing you got to really admire from both of them even though they have all this stuff they still keep it cool there's a lot of other players that do not keep it cool that talk a lot of smack but it's all good at the end of the day it's football there's always going to be different personalities and hey it is what it is one of my favorite personalities is michael thomas he is a loud mouth sometimes but hey that's just my opinion right there look at that catch by woods getting popped and oh my goodness, the time, the time. I just was not paying attention to it. Right here, I end up sliding, and I only have six seconds left. So me being a bonehead, making a bonehead decision, shall I say, I'm thinking I only got a little bit of time. I got to throw it up. And Levante David gets the interception. Oh my goodness, man. So just like that, we give the ball back. But hey, it's not out of reach. The game's still close. It's the end of the first half. Let's go. Let's keep the ball rolling, right? defense we got to play tight right here what does my opponent do we got he has to get some going right here chris god when going up oh my goodness breaking tackles this and all that man oh my goodness man this game is gonna be crazy guys check this out tom brady making some audibles what exactly does he do i'm not too sure i forgot about this play but he is making definitely a lot of audibles and right here i'm coming in with the linebacker and whoo get popped and rocked man I think that was John Johnson. Yeah, John Johnson was definitely a, a really agile linebacker. So shout out to Johnson for making that amazing play right there. And I come in with Fuller, uh, one of the DBs, sacking Tom Brady. And all I got to say is, man, this is a catch of the year. Oh, my goodness, man. 
Mike Evans, man, he just, I just don't know what to say here. I'm going to just let this play speak for itself. Ooh, and he ends up catching that, man. So really disappointed, obviously. But, hey, it is what it is. You got to keep playing Mike Evans. One of the few players that had the tattoo. See, I'm going to go ahead and say this bold statement, guys. I honestly and truly feel that Madden can be so much better with a few tweaks, a little bit of things of adjustments, all that. And I'm going to go into detail right now. Right here, my opponent gets a touchdown and Jalen Ramsey gets a hit stick. Still gets a touchdown, of course. But what I'm going to get to is that, look, for starters, why are the refs out the game? Now, if you guys are a hardcore football player, you guys will know that refs are a really big factor into it because it adds authenticity, authentic to the game it makes it feel like wow this is real you see the ref going for the first down also the sidelines look bad now i'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt i am playing on current gen i can't wait to bring you guys gameplay on next gen it's gonna be really cool bring you guys gameplay on the ncaa the new one and 2k is gonna be releasing their own football game as well non-simulation of course but hey it's still gonna be a football game so it's gonna be cool to bring you guys a lot new content on that but NCAA I'm really excited about because I don't watch college football. And for me to be able to get into football just the same way I did with Madden is pretty cool. And check out this play. A boneheaded decision. No. Why did I take the hit? Ended up fumbling. But look. I'm going to tell you guys something right now. Football is a game of seconds. Doesn't matter how many seconds you have. As long as you got seconds you can still make a play. And just like that look at those hips. Look, the reason why you do those hip drills in high school is the exact reason right here. If you go got back, if you go back to that play, I used that safety and I came in with the interception, knowing that this game could have been over. I ended up going for the two-point conversion. I said freak the extra point, and right there we hit acres for the two-point conversion, barely converting it. So let's go, man. A minute left. What does Brady and my opponent do? Could he get some going right here? We get the sack, but wait. The flag is on the play. We got called back for illegal touching. So one thing I have noticed in Madden 21 in general is that they call a lot more illegal f touching, um, roughing the quarterback, stuff like that. See, that's very common. But see, that should be things that should have. Why does that feel new to me? I don't know. But anyways, right here, what does my opponent do? This is a clutch drive right here. Hold on, though. Chris Godwin's feet were out of bounds there. Second and 10, Brady. He's scanning the field. What's he doing? Making some audibles. Snaps a ball. What does he do? He gets sacked. And luckily, this one is not called back. What down is it? Third and 20. What does Tom Brady do once again? Could my opponent get some going? He throws it up. And I call this the clutch play of the drive because just like that, it's incomplete. My opponent could have easily got that first down right there and got the field goal and pretty much iced the game. But it's all good right here. Fourth and 20. Brady snaps the ball. He throws it and it's not enough for the first down. He's short by a mile. So just like that, we reach victory formation. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys very much for watching this gameplay. It means a lot to me. Once again, if you're new, go ahead and subscribe. If you're enjoying the content as well, it means a lot. Leave a like, comment and all that so really appreciate it i'm gonna bring gameplay with matthew stafford soon so stay tuned for that and as always peace out and have a great day